This is the location where I met and interviewed the medical worker that brought us a shocking found footage of government experiments a few years ago. The world has changed since then. I'm here today to look back on what he had to say and the video footage that he wanted to warn us about. Hi, and thank you for talking to us. You want to keep your identity secret, but you were there when the outbreak started in the meat processing plant. Yes, I remember. I'm, I'm sorry. I've had a lot of things on my mind. Sometimes it's hard to think straight. They come at night, you know. Yes, I know. We haven't got long. Tell us who you are. I'm one of the medical workers. I've lost everything. My children and my wife have left me. God, I miss them. Nothing will stay the same. People blame me. But they told me that everything was going to work out okay. They told me I was going to be looked after. But the one thing, that's for sure, is the lies. They lie to us. All of them. And they're still lying. We have very little time. They will come for us. You have to tell your story. You owe it to the people. Do you really need that bottle of whiskey? I'm sorry. I can't do without it now. It's all I have. Tell us what happened and how the footage was found. How it started. Yeah. That's how the footage begins? Uh, no, it didn't. It didn't start there. We were all brought together. Tactical trainee, police teams, call commander, and, and, and a local camera crew. We were sent to a local meat processing plant that had an outbreak of an unknown virus in the meat. The regional CDC officer was Dr. Fisher. He was there to oversee the operation. <coughs> they thought it was a good idea for those local filmmakers to film everything. That's how it started. Yeah, it started with those local filmmakers. Um, Kyle Camp, it's freezing cold in the middle of the countryside, early hours of the morning, and I'm waiting for Jo. She's late as always, and there's nothing else I could do apart from wait. Uh, yeah, though, no, she's here now, though. Good. Let's see if I can wind her up a little bit about her being late. Oh, I need to know if Jo has finally arrived. I mean, I'll get the door for you, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. Right, let's get you in. Oh, all the thieves in the entire world are going to want everything that's in your car. Yeah, Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Let's have a look. Hold on. What is that bag? Hold, look, hold that. Hold that against your face. Hold it against your face, really high. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe the cameraman has got this much equipment. That's all I need. I, I, Can't you stop it? No, you, yeah, you can wait and see. Right, let's get inside, it's freezing out here, let's go. That's just nice, isn't it? Like a dreary little basement to stick the camera crew in. What the bloody hell have you brought? Uh, all sorts, really. Let's... Um, Are you all right? Yes, you need help? thanks, you know, fine. Thanks for asking. I guess. Yeah. What you... Microphone. Indoor camera. Uh, tripod. Cables and oh, 
outside camera. Just think you got enough? Yeah, much more. You know, plenty. Better than your little, rubbish little, little like, kid's camera. It might as well be a toy. Um, I've got more than I need in my bag. Don't know what you brought. You turn yourself that, Joe. Fucking exhausted already. We haven't even started. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's hope this briefing is brief. Okay, good morning, guys. <coughs> Dr. Fisher from Disease Control, who's going to explain the situation to you. Dr. Fisher. Good morning, gentlemen. Well, we believe that this contamination of the meat is caused by an insect. I uh, don't suppose any of you have heard of Chagas disease? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, it's not surprising, it's not native to the UK. Well, Chagas, or to give it a small Latin name, or Trypanosoma cruzi, is a parasite which is released into the victim's bloodstream. But we're not absolutely certain it's this. I mean, it uh, could also be a mutated parasitic organism, such as Toxoplasma gondii. Infection from that can be obtained by ingestion of raw or partly cooked meat, <clears throat> especially pork, lamb, or venison are containing the toxoplasma cyst. Well, we just don't know at this stage. The good news is, it's not airborne, so there's no danger to any person uh, It's spread like the AIDS virus, or unless you're bitten, or bodily fluids enter into your system. Absolutely nothing to worry about. Once it does get into a living body, these organisms multiply. That can have various results. Acute toxoplasma infection sometimes leads to psychotic symptoms. Also, if it manages to penetrate the amygdala, amygdala limbic system, extremely violent behavior can be seen. If somebody has been infected, there's no way of telling, apart from the flu-like symptoms and maybe a slight swelling of the eyes. Okay, well, thank you very much, Dr. Fisher. Okay, well, obviously, we have heightened security measures here today, and we always have to think of the possibility of terrorist involvement. The operation's gonna be in two stages. The first will be to evacuate the villages to a pickup area. The second will be to evacuate people from the meat processing plant so that disease control can go in. Uniformed officers will make contact and you are there to back them up and to encourage residents to leave. A medical team have already been sent in with vaccine for people who think they have been contaminated. Trojan team will also take an additional camera operator to record it and we'll just regard this as a training exercise. Full briefing package will be given to each bronze team commander and that's it. You didn't go with them? No. I was told to set up a perimeter at the edge of the woodland, of a vaccination and test area. The training and tactical police team went in with the camera crew. All those cadets were the lowest of the class. Do you think they expected to find what they did? Not a chance.
This guy. How you doing? I need to answer your questions, man. Well, I'm just you know doing my job, Sunshine, same as you. And I'm doing mine. And... And you. I have one question for you. Yeah? How does it feel like having a camera on your head? Don't even notice it. Well, it, lo it looks good. You look great. Cheers. Joe, they're all a bit hesitant. I can't work out if I like them or not. I think I like the, the, the good-looking one. Which Prince, one's that, then? The one... the good-looking one. The pretty one. The pretty one. <laughs> not princess, but not the pretty one. The other one. Not I a proper shotgunner. They're all a bit too serious for me. Yeah. This is maggot. Do you normally get operations like this? No, this is my first one. Is she doing this? The first? Mm -hmm. Is it just you that's the first, or...? No, no, no. The other two guys, um, it's their first time, too. Just oh, done, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just done two years intense training up in London. Uh, pretty much training for a moment like this. So that's pretty all right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We need to get you, Maggot, with the rest of the group. I need some more shots of that, because I know she's beautiful, you're beautiful. Put your gun away, because I need... Yeah, I'll just stay at the back and keep watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fifth. Come on, Joseph, Josephine, Jos Joseline. I don't know. Who are you talking to? Joe. Um, You're getting on them both. That's my job. That's my job to document everything, every single thing around. Come on, I'm not getting in your business. Look, all right, you might think that you're my boss right now, but at the moment, you're not. I've got a camera, you've got a camera. We're all filming like babes in the wood. It's not a good idea to piss off a man when he's armed, you know. Oh, it's not like you're going to shoot, uh, shoot a civilian. I'm not worried, mate. <laughs> Don't worry about it. When you saw the footage, did you think it was real? I'm not a person that watches reality, constructs a TV. <laughs> I knew what I was seeing. For God's sake, I lived it. I just never realized the outcome. What would you? When all the bad guys had their
Let's go up ahead a bit, get some shots. Wasn't there meant for someone meet us? Mm -hmm. Dunno. It looks deserted. Where is everyone? <laughs> Doesn't surprise me one bit. There was someone here to meet us. Where do you think they've got to? Who's supposed to be here? It's supposed to be some of the men, guys. This isn't normal, is it? Completely settled in. We ain't getting through that. All right. You go on that side. You take the right. Patrol from Trojan 1. No visible sign of civilians to gain access to meat processing plant. Request permission to gain access through breaching doors. Or maintain position. Over. Control to Trojan 1. We have permission to proceed. OK, been advised. Out. I've located an entrance about 50 yards down. Nothing on the right hand side. Okay. We've been given foot clearance by Silver. We don't know what to expect if we encounter any resistance from civilians. We use hand weapons. I don't like wood. <laughs> I've decided there's <laughs> way too many. <laughs> no. What do you mean by that? There's no, there's way too many leaves. There's, leaves, there's trees. Lots and lots of wood around here. Where and were you born? 
In the city? In the city. There we go. So you've never seen a, like, a nice, big, rustic countryside before. These guys aren't used to it. How long are they going to be? I've no idea. They could be any number of time. If we're not allowed in there, we're not allowed in there. But just be ready, ready on camera when they come out of here. Get up in their face, ask them some questions, find out what they saw. All right. That's what we're after. Well, let's hope they're soon. All right. Absolutely bollocks. What are we doing here, hey? What are we doing? A complete waste of time. What did you see in there? Not a lot, mate. There wasn't a lot to see. All a bit f***ing odd. Look at us all. Look at us. Look at helmets, cameras on them. Princess. Guns, everything. Look at all this f***ing armour. Why, why do we get dressed up for, eh? We go Princess. there, there's nothing there. It's a waste of f***ing time. Princess, can you just answer my question for a second? What, what's got you so riled up, mate? <laughs> Were you surprised they found nothing at the meat processing plant? <laughs> We were told there would be unexpected problems. Unexpected problems? That's what they called it. People look at me now and say, you must have known what was going on. You must have known. But we were just doing our jobs with no question. And that is what we do. Were you monitoring the live video footage? No. I never saw it until much later. Until it was discovered. As I said, it was just our jobs. We were told it was some parasitical virus that may have infected the workers at the meat processing plant. We did what we were told. That's all we knew. And what were you told about the workers at the meat processing plant? On why they had disappeared? <laughs> Look, I just did my job. What do you want me to say? I didn't mean to offend. Please tell me what happened next. Control from Trojan 1. We have a 1026. No one here. No visible sign of any personnel in the meat processing plant over. Control Trojan 1, over. Comms are down, check your radio. Control from Trojan 1. Control from Trojan 1, do you copy? Right, get up top so you can get reception up there and meet us at the pickup point, OK? Control Trojan 1, we have a 10-7. We cannot read you. We are going on to the pickup point. OK, let's go. OK, Carl. Come on! Yeah, yes, sir, sir. There's something insistently rubbish about moving through the woods for this particular piece. Carrying a camera the size of my bloody skull on the back. Sir. Yeah, you can shut up as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm curious, how did you get this demotion? Well, uh, my boyfriend, or boyfriend at the time, um, his dad was high up in the government, got me the job. But, you know, after the breakup, he made, like, everything quite that much difficult. So, do you know I I enjoyed this job. And then, now look where I am. Here, with you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bollocks. Joe, my battery's running low. Battery? Yeah. yeah. Do you have any spares? Yeah. You only have three left, mind. Yeah. Here you go. Thank All you. Right, come on. Yeah, I'm thinking I should invest maybe some long, like, long life. Thing. 
long-lasting batteries because the ones that I use at the moment just keep running out so fast because the bigger the camera that gets, the more energy it consumes and the fast, you know, like, batteries aren't cheap. Wish they were cheap, like you. Shut up. God! I swear, my sister! I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! Joe, what's she want? Joe, what's she want? Joe, no, 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 Joe, stay, stay where you are, Joe, Joe, come on, Joe, come on, come on, guys, get over, Joe, this is our help, come on, for sake, come on, guys, where are we going, where's the center, this is sorry, where are we going, this isn't a good idea, Joe, oh my god, god, I'm shit, how do you think they felt at this point? I wasn't there. I don't know how it felt. I can only guess. But they must have known that something wasn't right. That everything for them was going to change. It's okay looking back in retrospect. But I think they knew that something was transpiring. Something different was happening. Something stranger than anyone could expect. Like my home, you better keep up. Yeah. I mean, it's not like we're gonna get too far behind from anywhere, they're not that fast. Well, they're not hard to miss anyway in that uniform. <laughs> yeah, they're packing some serious heat, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. God, the camera's alright at least. <laughs> Are you okay? 
I'll be fine. Woo. Okay. Scare number one down. <laughs> right. I think there's worse things to worry about, to be quite honest. I wouldn't worry too much about it, Joe. I mean, you hear all sorts of stuff like this on the news, reports happening of people going a bit mental with those bug viruses. Flu. I mean, that's practically what the AIDS virus was in the first place, you know? It these, coming. These people are crazy. Like, yeah. But so are people with rabies, Joe, you know? Yeah, people with rabies are crazy. Not like, people, like dogs or, like, mind your head. Because there's lots of... Uh, Thank you. The, that woman, like, that was not normal. The way that was all... Joe, define normal for me. Well, it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> but define normal. Well, it's definitely not someone going crazy. People with bipolar go crazy, whether it's a virus or not. People with schizophrenia, that's normality, but it's still a mental illness. They're just ill, OK? But do you reckon these could be, like, parasites or something getting into their brain? Yeah, sure. I think maybe you've been reading too much on the, uh, on the internet. Um, yeah. Yeah, guys, look, I don't, want, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news or anything, but that sounded an awful lot like a scream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course I'm getting scared. There's a derelict, like, meat processing plant back there and yeah, we're all yeah. acting cat... boys in blue seem to be forgetting though is that we've only got cameras to defend ourselves against this, like those screaming sisters back in the house where they are armed with a teeth. Please tell us what happened next. Well we know was there was a virus infecting the workers at the meat protein plant. You're told things, you're given things. How it is at the CDC. No one knows anything, but we all think we know everything. So clever we are. So well informed, so helpful to the people. I don't want to be rude, but you're not answering my questions directly. I drink two litres of whiskey a day. My life has been ripped apart. What else do you need? So what happened next? Look, can we stop this interview for a moment?
Control from Trojan 1. Control from Trojan 1. We have a 10-7. If you can read me, we have multiple deaths. Great. Okay, that's, that's just perfect. Control from Trojan 1. We're heading back to the briefing area. Who's that? Oh, what the hell? Okay, Joe. We need to go back.
from a virus to zombie-like meat workers? Am I missing anything? It just shows you how quickly things can evolve. What minute you're choosing the dinner you have on your table, what vegetables you eat, and then suddenly, to a dystopian future that's totally alien to you. I have to ask you once more. Did you know about this beforehand? F*** you. It's easy to blame. Look at your history. And yet you have to ask yourself, who really is to blame? Who brought about the Nazi party? Was it Hitler? Or the people that let it happen? We knew something wasn't right. We signed up for it. I find it hard to believe you didn't know what was going on. F*** you. This interview is over. Yo, Princess, where is everyone, mate? About two hours ago, there was a room for the people and from what I've just seen out there, I'm willing to bet very safely that they're outside, either with them or struggling hard against them. Princess. Oh, you not think you should put that camera? No, out? I think now more than ever I should be filming because if this if this gets out, this ain't no normal situation we're dealing with. Chris, it's all clear, sir. Where is everyone? Well, they're just up to the left. Up to the left. It's, you know, we came in here. Joe. Mm. You're back in the woods. You were saying about all those incidents where people had gone crazy and stuff. And I was like, psst, psst. There was that incident on the news, wasn't it? Like, like that guy that ripped that fella's face off. And when the police came by, they shot him. And he didn't go down after, like, fucking, like, a whole empty magazine into him. I said that to you. Yeah, yeah, and I, I dismissed it, but I'm just saying now. And now you believe me. of yours, your <laughs> questions. Maybe we all just need to calm down. Is he got there? Is he, they, is he, is he been got? Is he one of them? What are we going to do if he is? What so it seems to me you like answering, asking me damn questions. Yeah. How about you answer something? Yeah, Princess, I'm not like... I'm not the guy with the knock. Hands. 
Show your hands. Get up. Put that down. Put that object down. Drop it. Drop it. Stand up. Stand. Slowly. Walk this way. This way, please. This way, please. This way, please. Sit on the chair. Sit on the chair, please. Sit on the chair, please. Okay. Now, where are the others? Dead. Dead. How? Dead. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Did you see them? Did you see them die? Yes. Right. Was it those big people out there? Got them. I'm a medical worker. I'm a medical worker, all right? I'm a medical yes. worker. I don't right. hurt people, Okay, right? fine. I don't hurt people. Who's coming to get you out? Right, so how are they going to get you out? How are they getting you out? You're getting me out, aren't you? No, oh, fuck no. We can't get you out. We haven't got a way to get out of it. How are they getting you? What are they well, talking about? How did you? you get in here, then? You're going to get me out. Were you at the briefing? Calm down, sir. He's on my side. Calm down, but you're going to get me out of here, right? Yes. We'll okay, so yes, that's, that's your job. You're going to get me out of here. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we'll then get me out of here. Yes, oh, shut up. <laughs> What's wrong with me? You're right, man. I think so. What happened to you? I've been attacked. How's Tell me! Right. Tell me now! Right! All right, the, the parasite. I, I don't think it's in the meat. I think it's in the vaccine, all right? Chris! Get back! I fucking tell you to interrogate him. Get back in the chair. What are you Stay there. Right, what, what, mate, what's going on? Mate, you've got to answer now, mate. What's. What, what, what parasite? What vaccine? What's this all for? It's population control, all right? They're testing it out on a small population to see if it would be effective on the wider population. If they do that, they can cut down the population. This is what this is. This is a test. I'm just a medical worker, mate. I'm a medical worker. You're here to inject... Cover your mouth when you cough. Infective, sir. Come on, If he coughs, no one gets it. Listen to me, just listen to me. Go on now. All right, okay. All right, the, the parasites, they're not in the insects, right? They're in the vaccines. I'm sure they're in the bloody vaccines. I injected myself, I didn't get bitten by anything. All right, I have protective clothing on, they didn't bite me. The, 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 par, the parasites. <laughs> Oh, 
See mean population Cut controller. The radiator. Wait. Oh, let's get the he spoke about population, oh, though, like reducing population. That's just that's crazy. Get up. He said about a population, cutting the populations in a, in, a, in a tight community to see if it's spread out into the wider, into the wider. You say you're not to blame, but the vaccines must have been supplied by you. Princess. Princess, you're you all right, mate? L Listen, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't know how. L I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I'll. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Oh, God. 
we gotta leave. Princess. Pretty boy. Let's get out of here. So we need to go. Let's get out of here. Up to now, what do we do? Go, let's go. Because whatever's out there, it's coming in. Just hold it down. Keep yourself safe. Sit down. Surround the chair. This isn't what I do. This isn't who I am. God, this is who you are. Be cool. Just be calm. calm. How do you guys do it? Carl, they can hear you probably. What do you mean? They're already outside. Yeah, well, don't... They know we're in here. I'm the <laughs> top of my voice. Come and get me, you oh, fucking oh. asshole. Makes no odds. This is mental. This yeah, is too just, much, Carl. Just waiting here. I just want to go home really, now. Really, really, really waiting to die. What a f fuck. Fuck. How much longer do you need, huh? Yeah, that's 10 seconds to make a snap decisions, but it's been, fuck it, I don't know, like two minutes since then. How much longer do you need? Do you need half an hour? Do you need an hour to make that snap decision? Right. Sir. Right. Cover the windows, cover the doors, I'm going to get to that. You, stay here. So those people in the woods, what was going on? The pathogen mutated in them, changed their DNA, their blood flow to the brain. Everything was in flux. I was there. or the government. Does it matter who is coming for us? But they will come and they want a world more stable and organized. Do you agree with that? I'm not sure we'll be around for that. You have to know. But don't worry, we're going to get out of here. Alright? Okay. You stay here. Don't move. Don't move. Ha <laughs> ha
We got split up. Where is everyone? I don't know, Joe. It's all gone to out there. Kyle, I'm scared. Yeah. Yeah, I know. No, just keep in. How long have you been here? I don't know. A while. Good. Well, well, we'll keep in here. Keep it calm. Oh, what's happening? No idea. Oh, I don't get, I don't get what's going on. Then. Joe, please. But None of us know what's going on. All right. The others, like they're, they're gone. They're Gonna not... have to relax. That's that's Can't all we can relax. do now. Relax. Just relax. She keep joking. it down. Relax. Keep it. Not relaxing. Not when there's something out there. We've seen people. We've seen Joe, people dead. Joe, listen to me, okay? We're gonna get out of it. We're going to be fine. But the, the, the louder you make, the more noise you make, the more chance that someone out there is going to find out. And if it's infested in the woods with whatever the hell those <laughs> things are, you and me need to keep it down, keep it quiet, and keep it together. OK. OK. Are you OK? Yeah. Let me just get this camera down. OK. I can't hear a thing. Good. That's all it says. Is everything okay?
virus is in the vaccine. It wasn't in the meat. It's hard to believe that our government would experiment on us. But really, we shouldn't. German nation found it hard to believe that their government would test an experiment on some people. The greatest number of murders in the world have been carried out by governments. And, and you know what gets me? As a prime minister or president, you're more likely to be re-elected if you start a war. guys have gone and they're they're nowhere to be found and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm hearing things and there's something out there and I don't know whether to stay here or find the guys and I just don't know what to do. I just don't know to find them. We were to infect the small community and see what would happen and how a tactical police unit would cope and if it could be contained. This is mass murder. Don't you get it, you stupid little girl? Population has to come down. Population control has to happen. There's no choice. Right, is there any way I can get out of this? Please. Please. If you make it to the edge of the forest, by my side, okay? Where are the others? They're dead, I mean. Oh, Those bastards out there ripped my whole damn team apart. Plus our sergeant was a f idiot. We're not going to make it, are we? Those things out there, they're not zombies. They're not the living dead. They're just crazy infected people. But they die, Joe. They die just like everybody else. Have you got a gun? No. But they sure as hell don't like this f***ing baton wrapped around their heads. It's over there. They set us up. 
It was in the vaccines. They were given to everyone. It's all about wiping people out with this infection. Shit. What do we do now? Look, Joe, we're going to get out of this, OK? Chris! Just stay close to me. Oh. Oh, no. Nothing now, are you? Where are the others? Are they? <laughs> Go! In the jeep! Now! Where are we going? I'm driving you to the evacuation centre. You're safe now. Okay, it's okay. This compound here is to evacuate everyone not infected. Everyone has to go through infection control. It's very simple, you just receive an injection. Now I what think... What sort of injection? It's just a vaccine. A vaccine? No, 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 Nothing you don't understand. Nothing to worry about. No. Calm down. No, it's in the vaccine. Okay, guys, look, can you come over, please? No, it's in the vaccine! I need a vaccination here stay. now! Yeah, don't understand! Stay! No! <laughs> Okay, that's it. We're locking it down now. It's time to leave. Dr. Fisher, it's all clear. Let's get to the transport. This is Dr. Fisher. That was the last of the survivors. You can close the perimeter.
There's nowhere to hide. I'm just like you. Fool as you were. Doctors, nurses. We're all fooled. And the girl from the camera crew? What happened to her? She came to us. And we processed her like anyone else. And the vaccine? No one realized the virus was in the vaccine. When she turned, we were told it was still the virus, that the vaccine was safe. It didn't take long for us to realize that the viral strain and the vaccine was mutating. It became very contagious and aggressive. That's when the world changed. And what do you think the reason for this was? Some end game? Or just a mistake? Do you believe it's depopulation, as mentioned in the film footage? I believe in depopulation. It's been in the minds of government scholars and sages for many years. I agree with it, but not in this way. I'm not to blame. I didn't trick anyone. But now, I want someone to lynch. And I'm in the front line. But none of it's my fault. What do you think is next for us? I've taken the experimental vaccine. So there is no future for me. But for you. Future is hunger. Power cuts. All kinds of contagious, aggressive mutations. Like a cancer spreading around the world. I live in hell. I have to go now. But there's still more questions to be asked. I think the time for questions is over. It's up to you now. Please, give us one last answer. What should we take from this? They're coming for us. They're coming for all of us. Save yourself. Don't listen to anything. You've been warned. Things have changed. There's nowhere to hide. You have to come to terms with it as everyone has joined up with the programme. Do I stand out and resist, or go along with it? How much more of this can we take? Is resistance futile? Is life still worth living?
Last. Nice.